Okay. Yeah, so we are in Kfir. No, you go ahead. Okay. I'm Kfir. I'm Yuval. We are a couple from Tel Aviv, Israel. We've been together for seven years. Seven years full of love. I work as a biochemist. I work in sales in a pharmaceutical company. And I'm a software developer. My job is fascinating. I build a personal robot that makes your office work in a click of a button. We live a happy life, full of uh, you know, fun and laughter and happiness. hobbies. Uh, I love gardening and plants. I love languages. I've been studying Japanese for the past four years. When we believe in a healthy lifestyle, we go to the gym four or five times a week. We do our own cooking. I'm responsible for the cooking in the home and Fear is responsible for all the cleaning. Messing everything up. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we, uh, you know, we complement each other in many ways. Yuval cooks, I clean, he wakes up in the morning and goes to bed early. I wake up late, go to bed late, it will be good for a shift with the kids. I'm good in, in math and computer. I'm good in humanities and in biology, life science. And languages. And languages. Yeah. Uh, so Yuval's brother, for example, lives in the countryside, so uh, we love going there and then playing uh, with, with the two kids. Uh, outside in the play field and to play some soccer and it's a uh, lot of fun and Yuval really likes to do uh, educationary things so uh, he <laughs> buys little puzzles and the uh, sudokos for the kids and he's trying to teach them uh, on the way and they're uh, reading books with yeah them. and reading books <laughs> again so we live in Tel Aviv in a beautiful quiet green neighborhood very residential area uh, Tel Aviv itself is an amazing city by the beach. Um, it's uh, many times been selected as one of the most gay-friendly cities in Europe. We reached this point in life that we think it's, it's time to have kids. Our life are really very complete and whole, but something very basic is, is missing. And um, we are ready, we are very mature, and we, we went through a lot in our lives and we believe now is the right and the perfect moment to, to broaden our family and have kids. This is the part which you are, need to find the surrogacy. Yeah, the easy part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it here, we have to do it abroad. Um, I lived in Canada for five years. I did my grad school in biochemistry at McGill and uh, I have relatives all around Canada. So Canada was the obvious choice. Not to mention the altruistic model that we admire so much with Canada. So we looked for an egg donor. And we were very lucky to find an amazing egg donor uh, from Ontario, uh, which we are still in touch these days. So how do we see our relationship with the surrogate? In four words, the auntie from Canada. Actually, it's really up to the surrogate. We are very flexible. We know that surrogates have their families and uh, what they prefer can vary, but we would love to keep in touch and be in contact on the phone or the video before and during the pregnancy to support and be involved as much as we can. Our relationship is full of uh, joy and happiness and love, and, and we just can't wait to, to add kids to this environment. And um, we have all the love in the world to give to our kids, and we want them to be the happiest possible. It's a, it's a tough journey. Uh, we know it takes uh, a lot of time. It's a mental roller coaster. Lots of ups and downs and disappointments. You go uh, one step forward and then two steps back. It doesn't end when we finish that. It's just the, the real life just begins. Uh, but uh, we want to be at that stage that we actually have one baby, two babies, and we can, you know, 
focus on the real thing of raising our kids and being one big happy family.